Hey everyone, my name is Phoebe and I have some great updates to share with you with materials, especially with our material uh, multi-texture editor and PBR maps. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so here I have my garment, but I want a different fabric and all of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my fabric and I'm going to change out my base maps, but I have like, I have all the maps. And so now what I can do in this update is I can add them all in all at once. Super cool. So what I'm going to do is open this up and I want this map and as you can see I've made sure I've named all of these properly so I have ABC base displacement metal normal opacity and rough so they're all named properly as you can see you can do like the short naming you could name it out fully so you can say normal displacement metal opacity rough roughness you know so you can say the full name or you can do these short names if you'd like I'm now gonna hit open and this pop-up will come up and it'll say like, after adding the texture image, the other PBR maps of this material will automatically update. Would you like to proceed? I'm gonna say yes. And now you'll see all of the maps show up here, which is really cool, right? So cool. Now this is a really cool colorway I like this but maybe I wanted like a print or something different so I'm gonna go into that handy dandy multi texture editor so I'm gonna go to open texture editor and now what I'm gonna do is add in some other like artwork that I know that I want to add so I'm gonna hit add and I'm gonna in add this okay I'm gonna resize this looks cool. And now I'm going to add, and I want to add this. I want to hit OK. And I want to resize. Maybe I want to add like one here. And like one here. That looks cool. And maybe I'm going to just move this off here. So I'm just like creating a little fun print here. Once I'm happy though, this is the cool update. I can now save this out and I can save these all individually and merge together. So I'm going to say save merge layer together. I also can choose which ones I want to save and which ones I don't. So using these checkboxes, I could not save some. So I already have this base map. So I'm gonna uncheck this and not save it. I also can choose if I want a PNG, JPEG, or TIFF. I'm gonna go with a PNG because I already have a lot of like empty backgrounds and I don't wanna have to edit that. I'm gonna do PNG, save merge layer, and I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna select this folder. And now I've had all of them saved out, all right here. So here they're all saved, all right here. And this is it merged together. Pretty cool, right? I can now hit apply and close. And now I've got my new print and my new fabric. I hope you enjoyed the video and you're excited to try all of this out. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our Clo channel. There's so many things to learn. Thanks again and keep having fun in Clo.